and the London Black Knights. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis. Good football. Winners are four of their last six games. Meanwhile, for our visiting Austin Ball Club, they've been cooking these last couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. The first carry now. This is Johnson. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. That's a very nice game there. Confidence-building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. Now on the heels of that run by Johnson, here's another first and ten. From the gun, it's Ryan. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Good work after the catch, going to net him 23 and a first. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. A first down carry here for Johnson. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, look now at our starting defense. They interplay one from the bottom, number 31 in the league, Charles, against the run. Stopping the run, that's been an issue for them all season long. Aren't you glad that you're not coaching the defense right now? <laughs> I'm very glad. They said that they've seen it in doses, but very, very small doses. Yeah, you've got to be consistent. It's down in and down out, being able to play it, understand what you have to get done, and finally stop some people, put them on the ground. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. And he finds Seals Jones complete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate, gotten the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpoint here. Uh, so I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ring. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Duke Johnson with touchdown number eight on the year as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts a defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. On for the extra point, Giorgio Tavecchio. And it's good to make it 7 to nothing. So that drives seven plays in length. And it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Tavecchio. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they'll be led out by their quarterback, the Stanford man. It's Andrew Luck. And I thought it was a really nice performance last week by him. Three touchdown passes, 
I think that signifies exactly what he was getting done. He did have the one interception. But that's the ratio you say you're okay with, right? If you go three to one, you're going to be pretty happy over the course of the season. And let's face it, he'll never blame the receiver publicly. But behind closed doors, he probably told his agent, hey, what's the deal? I should have had a perfect game. Throw him to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Offensive starters time. Electric is certainly a word that comes to mind when you talk about Le'Veon Bell. Love the way that he reshaped his body coming out of college. A bigger, thicker runner while he was at Michigan State. Lost weight, became more of a whippet in the NFL. And now... ...wind up getting Tim back as that sets him up for third down. Lock on third down. No, oh, they would have gotten a conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Fielded just inside the 20. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And as this offense makes their way back out, it's AFC playoff race time as we give you a look. And with a final fortnight of games upon us, teams jockeying for position. Some of these games really starting to take enormous importance as they always do this time of year. I like how you use fortnight. Hey, you're impressed. Yeah, you? I am impressed. That Thank means you. two weeks, if that I'm not does. mistaken. Correct. That does. Well, how about exactly what you're talking about? Going down the stretch. How much importance is placed on these games? Look, everyone talks about every game's important. <laughs> when you get to this time of year, maybe that importance gets quadruple. And that's where we are right now to see who can make their last run, their last push to get into the playoffs. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. Roberts has it. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. Now this offense ready to head back out there. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little bit jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. It's just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now they have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'm trying to do better here. <laughs> Now second and seven from the 23. Now it's Locke. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Michael Gallup, that's who he was looking for. And that'll make it third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. A pickup of 27, and they pick up the first down in the process. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection, maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you're wondering, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. Now a first down carry by Bell. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. 
Nothing too fancy there. A simple toss left, but for whatever reason, the defense, they didn't seem ready for it. Let me continue on with your thought right there because after the play was over, I kept my eyes on the defenders. Watch them get off the ground, going back to the huddle, shaking their heads and kind of pointing to each other like, what just happened there? I think you were onto something. And they'll keep it on the ground with Bell. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. The numbers for Bell on the ground of the game last week. 19 carries, 102 yards, and a touchdown. So he scored his eighth touchdown on the ground last week. And most guys I know, they want to get into round numbers. So, you know, 10 is really the goal. And this is one sport where being selfish and scoring touchdowns is a good thing. Look for he and the offense to try and get him in there at least twice in this game. And down inside the 15 he goes. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Here we go. Here we go. First down, Bell. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Le'Veon Bell, his ninth touchdown of the season as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. And there you go, nothing really too complex. Block, keep to your assignments, let them run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking, beats good tackling on that play. End result, touchdown. Bullock good on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So that a seven-play, 80-yard drive. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And it ends with a Le'Veon Bell touchdown run. This one taken from the seven. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. So here is the home side to take over on offense. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you called before and realize it hasn't worked <laughs> Go to so something well. else. And maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Seven yards there and a first down. They'll run on first down. It's Johnson, and he's got it across midfield and down to about the 47-yard line. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Play action, Ryan getting the sense Charles are going to put big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far looking pretty well from them. And here's the I think he likes natural light best. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz. We're able to complete the pass. That had the total feel of a quarterback in control. Red blitz, got him into the right protection scheme so he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. Watch out, watch out. Tight end right, tight end right. Four down. Oh, he's in. Oh, on first down, Johnson. Johnson with a burst, a first down or more. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Duke Johnson, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And his guys have taken the lead. Tavecchio to add the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Five plays there on that drive. And a nice play on the end of it. An 18-yard touchdown run. In the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. 
And we put our focus now on Le'Veon Bell. And you see his numbers from a week ago. He was up over 100 yards then, and he's already hit pay dirt here once in this one. We always talk about quarterbacks and receivers getting into rhythm, right? Really feeling good, finding each other downfield. I think running backs operate the same way. They can hit a good rhythm and a good stride, and he's carrying it over from last week. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now a draw play. This is Bell. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. With that last carry, he's now over 8,000 career rushing yards. All right, big applause. Lots of clapping for this one, right? Think about it this way. Along the way, he has passed Hall of Famer Terrell Davis, and now he's starting to approach another Hall of Famer in Larry Zonka. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense, and it worked very well there for a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Lock hits his target to tight end Mo Alley Cox. The completion good for three, and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Now Bell. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. They'll try and run for it with Bell. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A third down conversion with a strong gain of 14. That's funny, partner. Le'Veon Bell, when he came out of Michigan State, when I go back and look at my analysis of him and what my grades were for him, thought he was a big-time player, great potential. But I didn't know we were going to get this player. I was used to a big, solid, thick running back. But now I've got a full package, a guy who can do everything, as we just saw there, including breaking tackles. But at the time, second round pick in 2013, some people probably wishing they'd taken him in the first. They'll run it with Bell, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. Throwing on third down. Luck. It's complete to Grant. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 at a first down. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. They come out here in the eye. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. To throw is long. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Line of scrimmage. Again, the four-yard line. Second and goal. Block throwing again. He's going to go down, sacked back at the 13-yard line. 
Tack McKinley able to record his fifth sack of the season. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. That's the end of the first quarter. With the score, Black Knights 14, Armadillo 7. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Now Lump. Caught here by Bell. And he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. Le'Veon Bell. His 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. Extra point up and good by Bullock. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. So that drive spans 13 plays. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. We get a glance at Duke Johnson as he heads back out onto the field. And he's found the end zone twice, and now I'm guessing he's thinking, hey, let's find it three times. And you got to figure from the defensive perspective, how has he gotten there twice? What are we going to do to keep him out for a third time? How do we tighten things down? Because he and his offensive mates, they are really in sync right now. A good run there to start the drive. 13 yards, first down. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Johnson. Going to give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. To throw on second and six. Ryan, screenplay, Johnson. 12 yards there and a first down. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now it's Ryan. Open man there is Malone. And he's taken down inside the 30. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. They'll run on first down. Johnson. DJ Reed, who played in college at Kansas State, made the tackle. To throw on second and six, Ryan. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Ryan. And that is incomplete. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, 
it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. So on fourth down, Ryan goes off and on is Giorgio Tavecchio for the Falcon field goal. This a 43-yard attempt. The kick by Tavecchio is good. And they take a 17-14 lead. A little brief second of indecision there was certainly hooking, but bottom line, it's good. Yeah, and you know, getting a little bit of English on it, right? That left-footed kicker trying to pop it through. A little bit too close to the right upright for his liking, but he'll take the three. This one taken from the seven. And yeah, nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. And Le'Veon Bell making his way back out onto the field now. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work. And that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. It's Bell, and three yards there, takes him to the 45. And the last run got three, now here's second and seven. This is Bell. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. On first down, Locke. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Hollywood Brown, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. From the shotgun, it's a give to Bell. Second down, a little more productive than first. Seven yards on the gain. It gets him to third and three now. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Well, we've seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner. A... Now the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. And we focus on Duke Johnson now. A thousand yard campaign in his sights, Charles, but needs a little bit of a kick here down the stretch to reach it. And sometimes at this stage of the season, you're looking for that extra goal, right? That extra motivation to accomplish what you want, not just as a team, but as individuals. He's got to stretch a little bit to get there. That might be what they're talking about during the practice sessions in their meetings. Hey, we can still get this done. Let's go ahead and feed him the ball. And the offensive line, I'm sure they're well aware of where he stands as well. They are, and I think for them, it would be an even better accomplishment to get there now because it seems like a little bit of a reach. That catch good for five. It's third down. The last play on the completion got them half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to connect. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted. 
spotted at the 14-yard line. A look at the run rhythm and have a chance to have success. You know who else gets into a rhythm? The and he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not... Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. On the counter, here's Bell. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. Eight yards here, so that gets him back within striking distance. And now it's third down. Throwing his run. A screen to Bell. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. Luck now, 9 of 17 through the air. Not a great percentage, but it is first and 10. A shotgun snap for Luck. That's complete. It's Bell. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Bell. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. On third down, here's Bell. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. In this defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. Luck now to throw. Got a man. It's Brown. That's good for 28 yards. As far as I'm concerned, Andrew Luck can do it all. I mean, he's an underrated runner. Toughness in the pocket. Strong and stout. But let's face it, the money... That comes from his arm. And smart, valedictorian of his high school class in Houston. Then he goes to Stanford. He's got it all. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten. As they've got things rolling on this drive. The pass complete to Ryan Graham. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Second and very short. Luck. This will be caught by Brown. He's exceeded his receiving yards from a week ago, and we're still in the first half. It's a first down. Now a first down throw. Luck. And he's got it. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. They'll try and run it in with Bell. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Well, it's been the air game that's taken him down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? They'll try again with Bell. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that is going to set up third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. They've been stuffed twice here for losses. Now it's third and goal. Back 
quick to throw. Love. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Robbie McLeod. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. We get a glance at Duke Johnson as he heads back out onto the field. A good job in the passing game, decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. Now second and seven from the 23. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. From the gun, it's Ryan. He gets this one to Johnson. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now Ryan. And he'll find his tight end, Seals Jones. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Off the draw. Here's Johnson. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing on second and three, Ryan. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Not something you want to see in week 16 or any week, really. We'll be right back. Ryan in the offense with a first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Now it's Ryan. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Seth Roberts, but it's going to be second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Ryan. And it's caught. Touchdown. Ricky Seals Jones, his third touchdown now on the year. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. That's almost just not right. You cover everybody, but those tight ends, they can be.